Hello everyone, welcome to Time with Spain Kitchen. It's another beautiful recipe. Today we are going to do this beautiful bow tie pasta recipe with minced meat. It's so delicious, so comforting, very really quick. Here are my ingredients. I have my bow tie pasta, milk, celery, pressy, um, basil, my ground meat, cheese, 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 and a stew. Any tomato sauce, but here I'm using my stew. I have some egg, um, some garlic and ginger. I mean to say, I have um, onions. So straightforward. I will list more ingredients as I go. We are here. We're gonna boil our bow tie pasta. It's so easy. And just put water. Um, add some salt. Make sure the water is boiling before you put your bow tie pasta. That's what I'm doing right now. Now this bow tie pasta boils so fast. And you don't want to boil it to be too soft, so just go ahead and boil it like this. And then you mix it up, allow it to cook, give it a slight cover. Yeah, it's a very delicious dish. And the other corner, I have my nice pot ready to start um, mincing my meat. So put a little bit of oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, anyone you like. Here I'm using some olive oil. Now, don't put too much oil, you know, mine's meat produces oil. And our stew has oil. That is stew I made the other day. So if you've not watched my stew video, go ahead and watch it. Um, you enjoy it. So here, I'm frying my onions. I really want the onions to be caramelized a little bit. It's very important to caramelize your onion um, with some dishes. Some dishes need caramelized onions so that's why i'm encouraging you with this recipe to caramelize your onion and then now after a little bit it produces that nice flavor i'm adding my meat freshly ground meat you can see this meat does not have too much fats so you can do any kind of mince meat you want you can do turkey pork anyone but I didn't want oil right now so I'm gonna cook the meat until you see it's all put together it's ready and our process continue I'm adding my garlic and ginger in here I'm adding my dry ingredients already I'm gonna list them down below every ingredient that is dry I added it already I'm gonna mine this meat my garlic powder a little bit of it my little bit of ginger powder a little bit of white pepper and I also added a little bit of bouillon at this time to fry. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to mix it. I added my tomato sauce and mix everything, my stew. You can use any tomato sauce of your kind, but I love my stew. Now bear in mind, my stew is so flavorful already. I'm just adding the other aromatics to upgrade the, the flavor since I'm making a whole dish. So now... My pasta is ready, so ready. And this, my mince meat sauce is ready to receive my pasta. So what I'll do here that I now, I'll just go ahead and add. I'll go ahead now and add my pasta in here. That's what we do. It smells so good in my kitchen right now. And before that, I'll add my soy sauce. Yes, soy sauce brings a strong and beautiful flavor into this dish. Very important. I add some milk. Now, my milk gives that creamy, creamy, creamy texture that we need for every pasta dish. At this time of the year, you need some creaminess into your pasta dish. If you add milk, it gives a great difference, okay? You can see that my sauce had bay leaf and the flavor is good. I added some cheese to start mixing up. Mm. I'm telling you guys, the flavor at this point is really good. You want to try this recipe with your family and you enjoy it. The basil from the stew, the ingredients, the curry, and all the ingredients I've just added. Mm -mm -mm. It's so delicious at the point. It looks runny because of the milk, but trust me, this will, will take in quick. So it's time to add my pasta because... I want to make sure when it's taken, it mixes with my pasta. So I'm going to add my pasta now and then mix everything. Make sure everything looks so blended together. That's the essence why I let the, the, um, 
the soup to be runny you want it to mix together now the pasta is not too cooked so it's gonna complete its cooking process in here and you can see my pasta is straight from the fire straight from the pot so it's good to use ready cooked like ready to go pasta don't cook it and keep it to stand one side you know so we're gonna leave this now to simmer so that the pasta can absorb all the flavor mm, from this dish so that it binds together you can see how it's drying up so fast so we're gonna add some more ingredients to top it up i'm gonna add some green onion celery parsley chopped and some cheese yes 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 some cheese mm -mm -mm. this is so comforting i don't know what kind of dishes you want to be eating this season of fall wherever you're watching me from please add this recipe to your list and you will not regret it so delicious just look at how that bow type pasta came together everything has dried up your mind smith mm -mm -mm. look at this Mm -mm 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 -mm. it's so delicious you want to try it at home and let me know guys bye bon appetit thank you